I recently did a video where I used hybrid gel like a poppet with full coverage tips. It actually really worked. It's pretty cool. But many of you ask me, does it work with acrylic? I don't totally know. Let's try it together. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna grab my full cover tip. So I'm just placing it on my thumb here and you can see that it's a little bit bigger, but that's gonna work. Don't buff up the tip. Sometimes we do. Some tips, you buff them up first to make them stick. But we don't want this to, so don't buff it. But we are gonna buff the natural nail because we want the tip or the acrylic to stick to that natural nail. So we're gonna buff the natural nail up slightly. Okay. That's looking pretty buffed up. Now I'm going to get rid of the dust because, you know, these products don't really like the dust. And I am using acrylic, so I'm going to use my Let's Bond and Let's Prep. Let's Prep first. That's basically a dehydrator. Once that evaporates, you're going to use your Let's Bond and just put the bond on more sparingly. So now we want to put acrylic. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to work with my odorless line. So let's get a little bit of monomer. These are my new little pouches and they're refills. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation pink. I love this shade, it looks beautiful all in one, but it is very, very opaque. And that's fabulous when you're doing a full nail or when you're doing an ombre. But I'm gonna take, and they're re, re, um, resealable. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my pink tint, about 50-50 I'm doing here. A little bit of the pink tint because the pink tint has a little bit of a pink translucent. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love them both on their own, but when they're mixed, you make a whole new color. And that's what I'm doing. Put my little cork on and give it a little bit of a shake. This is harder, as I said, because it's going to cure as soon as you mix your monomer and your powders together, they start to cure. So I'm thinking if we're doing a full nail, now I have done a design where I said you can put a bead of acrylic on the nail plate and stick the full coverage tip on there and leave it and it works great. But we're just using it as a bond. We're just taking one bead and we're using it to bond the two together to hold them together, right? That's it. But this case, we're looking to build the whole nail because we're going to pop the tip off if it works. We're going to pop it off and expose the whole nail. So the whole nail has to be built inside the tip, structure and all. Now, if I do this with Easy Gel, I can spend a lot of time creating because it's not going to cure. But with acrylic, it's going to cure. I'm going to start adding the product on the tip part of it first. And I'm going to blend it so that when I do do the bead for the cuticle, then we can flip it over and put it on and hopefully it'll all blend and it comes off in one nail. You could try to do one giant bead and get it all in there. But if it starts to cure, by the time you flip it over and you're pressing it into there, you're wanting your thumb imprint to mold into the product. And if it's easy gel, no problem. If it's hard gel, no problem. If it's gel in a bottle, no problem. But with acrylic, it's going to start to harden and the two are not going to go together. So we got to think ahead on this one. Let's paint the free edge part first. Now, let me just put it on here. Let's let's measure it up. If I put it on my thumb, we can see that the nail, I need to leave that much room that's not going to be hardened. It's going to have to be soft to make it mold into my thumb. So I've only got this much room that I can do for the free edge. So you just sort of have to remember that. This is sort of in my mind's eye of how much that is. Now, when I'm working with slow monomer, just a quick tip, when you're working with slow monomer, my particular monomer, use extremely small amounts of monomer. So you can see me dipping in here. Can you see that? And I'm going to release, release. Then I'm going to dip into me powder and I'm grabbing just a little bit and I'm gonna put it in the free edge. I'm starting to build the nail. So we're just gonna keep adding on the end here until we get enough product that is literally how much you would need to make a full sculpted nail. Okay, well I'm gonna look at this now and it looks to me like it's pretty full there. So now if I put the bead either on my nail or on the fake tip and press it in, 
by the time we let it dry and pop it off, it should be okay. And then we can file it like we did the other video with the Easy Gel. I'm gonna need a bit of a bigger bead than I normally would. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is definitely a bigger bead. Okay, let's push it out to the side a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> now I'm gonna put it on my nail and I'm gonna slightly press down. So I'm gonna hold it for a little bit, make sure it's straight. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit, wait for it to cure up. Now it's odorless, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. So just gonna hold it, wait for it to cure. Okay, so it's now cured enough. I'm just going to take a cuticle stick and just gently remove any product. Now some of it's kind of wanting to stay there because it's too far along. So I'm going to take my little pointy bit here, file around the cuticle and get rid of it. And then we're going to see if it will pop off. This isn't on my skin. This is actually kind of puffed up over the tip part. And you can file that away with a hand file or as I'm doing here with a e-file. Okay, well, let's see if we can find the edge of this tip now that we filed it a little bit and get rid of the tip and see if it works. Where's my... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's my gem jet with the point on the end. Now, sometimes finding the edge of it can be hard. But we're going to try to do that. Okay, so at this stage so far, I can tell you I probably like doing it with easy gel better. You don't feel like you have to hurry, and that's the whole advantage of it. So I'm going to just see if I can find the edge here. I mean, there's a part of me that just wants to leave it. Once I file it, it'll actually look pretty good. But that's not the experiment. The experiment is we want to see if we can bring the tip off. Now, it might have just blended so much together. Maybe they it, it just won't want to come off. Well, I'll tell you, I have a much easier time releasing it off of the hybrid gel than I am with this acrylic. Now, there is a possibility, because I'm not a chemist, that the acrylic is actually bonded with the tip. It looks pretty tough. <laughs> I think if you really tear it off, you might take your whole thumbnail with it. Well, I can feel it if it's going to hurt, so I won't do that. Yeah, you can still damage your nail, I think. No, because this is all product in here. This is not my nail. It looks horrific, possibly, but I don't think it wants to separate. It looks you know scary. No. It just doesn't want to separate. Like, you can see me digging, right? I'm just wrecking the acrylic. Usually when you get to this point, it starts to spread. The tip just releases. It just spreads. Now, I suppose I could have put a little bit of oil in the tip, but I don't know if that would have worked. Because I did to put a little oil in the tip when I put it with hypergel, and it didn't seem to make a difference. It didn't seem to aid it, to, to lift it at all. I could lift it easily without adding the oil. That's why I didn't recommend it. So they just don't want to separate, which is good. you got great adhesion. I mean, it's not going to ever lift off because it seems like it doesn't want to. I mean, if I saw you doing this, I wouldn't want you to probably try anymore because I just don't want you to wreck your nail or pull on your natural nail bed. I mean, I even got a corner under here and I'm and actually digging a little bit and I'm pushing really hard right here. It doesn't want to separate. No, it's not going to separate. It just doesn't want to separate. Okay. So what did we learn here? Let's just, um, I ruined that one little side there. Let's see if we can smooth it off. So acrylic, you cannot use acrylic to build the nail underneath a full cover tip and use it as a poppet. It works with hybrid gel, <laughs> but it does not want to work with acrylic. So I have to leave the tip on there, which of course is an option too, it's great. Well, now we know though, it's not gonna come off. It's stuck on there. So if you're doing this method and you're leaving your full coverage tip on the nail, we have learned that it doesn't work as a poppet, but it certainly bonds, the acrylic certainly bonds with the full coverage tip. You are not getting it off. Okay, well, that's what we learned. Okay, so I smoothed it off like a nail as if I'm keeping the tip on there now. I'm going to just show you what I don't really like as far as a full coverage. And, you know, as time goes, if you practice it, you could get better at it. 
but I mean, this is being really, really picky. Now, obviously we've learned that we can use the acrylic in a full cover tip, but if you're going to do the full end of it, it's not really, I mean, I'm being really picky. If you're putting gel over top, it doesn't matter, but it's not as flawless as a hybrid gel is. It's not as smooth because you put two pieces together because of the time frame of it curing. So the two come together. It's not a smooth, super smooth finish is what I'm trying to say. But if you're putting a gel polish, it doesn't matter. You could do it if you really want a super strong nail. Okay, well, we learned something there. If you want to check it out where it works as a poppet with hybrid gel, check this video out. It does work. <laughs>